When connecting to the internet, ethernet cables offer far better performance than Wi-Fi connections. So does that mean we should just use ethernet cables for all of our internet connections? It's as simple as that. <coughs> Unfortunately, it's not that simple. In this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to explain to you why Ethernet cables are far superior to Wi-Fi connections, and I'll also detail why you shouldn't use Ethernet cables for all your internet connections. Wait, what? If Ethernet cables provide better performance, why wouldn't we want to use these for all of our connections? All right, slow down. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. Let's first start by breaking down why Ethernet cables are better than Wi-Fi when it comes to internet connections. When comparing these two ways of connecting to the internet, from a performance perspective, there's really no comparison. Ethernet cables offer faster connections. They offer more reliable connections in the sense that they are less impacted by interference and less likely to have interference. And lastly, ethernet cable connections to the internet result in less delay or latency with those internet connections. At first glance, this looks like a clean sweep here. It doesn't look like there are any reasons why you should use Wi-Fi to connect to the internet. But there are actually some benefits of connecting to the internet with Wi-Fi. For one, with Wi-Fi there are less location restrictions. You can be connected to the internet sitting on your couch, you can get up and move to your kitchen table, you can walk around your apartment, all while maintaining a connection to the internet. This would be a lot harder to do if you had a device with an ethernet cable connected to it. You'd be dragging the cable around the house and it's much more of a hassle. This makes Wi-Fi ideal for mobile devices and devices that are meant to be moved around, carried around, and used in different areas of your home. Wi-Fi also comes in handy when using an ethernet cable just isn't possible. What I'm talking about here are situations where you're in your home, you want to access the internet, and you're far from your router, and in order to provide an ethernet connection to your device in this remote location, you'd have an ethernet cable snaking through your home, it'd be a trip hazard, and it just doesn't really make much sense. I should also mention here that some devices, particularly mobile devices, don't even come with ethernet ports. So it goes without saying you have to use Wi-Fi in these situations. And lastly, and this might be a minor one here, but using Wi-Fi doesn't require you to purchase any additional equipment. If you have all these ethernet connections to your router, you need to buy ethernet cables, and although they're pretty cheap, if you have a bunch of them, that cost can add up. And looking at these benefits of using Wi-Fi, that evens the scales a little bit. It's not so much of a lopsided victory when it comes to ethernet cables. So what does this mean for your home network? This means that you should be strategic about when you use ethernet cables and when you use Wi-Fi to connect to the internet. So let's walk through a few examples here. You should use ethernet connections to the internet when you have bandwidth intensive tasks on devices that you aren't going to be moving around a whole lot. When I refer to high bandwidth internet activity, I'm referring mostly to streaming ultra high definition video, watching YouTube videos, those are the most bandwidth intensive tasks. I've created another video that might be a good reference here that talks about the different bandwidth that's needed for different internet activities. This will help you make a determination on whether you should use an ethernet cable or not. The other case where you'll want to use an ethernet cable is if you're online gaming. This doesn't so much have to do with the bandwidth portion of the connection, it has more to do with the latency of the connection here. When you're online gaming, you want as little delay as possible, so an ethernet connection to the internet will provide just that. What about Wi-Fi connections? When should you use those? Well, if ethernet cables should be used for bandwidth intensive tasks, you can use Wi-Fi connections for less bandwidth intensive tasks. I'm talking about browsing the internet, answering emails, chatting with your friends, all of these activities are low bandwidth activities, so a Wi-Fi connection, you'll do just fine with that. Obviously as well with mobile devices, devices that you'll be carrying around the house and accessing the internet in locations maybe far away from your router, that's when you should be using Wi-Fi. So before you go out and you wire your home for ethernet cables, which is another option here if you're willing to go through the trouble of doing that, 
just know that Wi-Fi connections to the internet are more than fine for the vast majority of internet activities. Again, I only recommend Ethernet for these high bandwidth tasks and also if you need to upload a lot of files to the internet. Also keep in mind that your router has a limited number of Ethernet ports on it, so if you want to provide a lot of your devices with Ethernet connections, you might need to buy additional equipment like unmanaged network switches so that way you can connect more devices to the internet with Ethernet cables. If this video presented a new way of looking at your different connections to the internet in your home, please give this video a like so I can spread this awareness with other people that might be in the same situation as you. If you have any questions about this information, please drop them in the comment box below. And then lastly, I invite you to subscribe to the channel if you like the content that I'm putting out on a regular basis. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.